the total surface area of a cone of slant height L centimeters and base radius R centimeter is 224 pi centimeter square. If the ratio R is to L is 2 is to 5, the question asks is to find number A. We are to find the correct to one decimal place the value of R. And question number B, we are to find the correct to the nearest whole number, the volume of the cone. You are to take of pi as 22 over 7. So let me attempt to answer this question. Solution to that, the total surface area of that cone with slant height L and base radius R, that total surface area is given as 224 pi centimeter square, so it is in terms of pi. And the ratio of the length of R, meaning the radius to the slant height, is 2 is to 5. So let me attempt to answer question Roman question number A. So sketching the con, I have something like this. This is the radius of the con. And this is the slant height of the con, and this is the vertical height of the con. So the ratio of R is to L meaning in the question r is to l is 2 is to 5 so i can now write it in fractional form as r over l equals to 2 over 5 and because in the formula for surface area of a cone i have both r and l so let me make one of the unknown subjects so l here will now be 5 r over 2 I cross multiply L times 2, 2 L, R times 5, 5 R. So let I divide both sides by the coefficient of L, which is 2. So I have L to be equals to 5 R all over 2. So I continue. So next I'll write the formula for total surface area of a cone. Total surface area of a cone, remember, is the curved surface area plus the area of the circular base that will give the total surface area and is given by this formula by r into l plus r if you expand this it will simply be pi r l plus pi r square pi r l is the curved surface area of the cone while pi r square is the area of the circular base so this is the formula for total surface area of a cone so i'll now substitute the total surface area is given as 224 pi centimeter square. So if I substituted it, total surface area 224 pi equals to pi r into 5r over 2 instead l because l is 5r over 2. Look at it. So instead l, I now substitute l with 5r over 2 then plus r. I'll continue because question A is asking us to find R. That's why I make L subject so that I will no longer have L in the formula again. So I continue expanding that bracket or simplifying that bracket 5R all over 2 plus R simply give answer 7R over 2. This is my 224 pi. I continue. And the pi cancel pi pi i have pi by the right hand side i have pi by the left hand side so they will cancel each other and r times what is in the bracket i have seven r square all over two so i'll continue clear the fraction and make r square subject of the formula i will now have uh, two two four times two to be four four eight and divided both sides by seven I'll have r square to be equals to 448 divided by 7. So I'll divide this and take square root. That will give uh, dividing this by 7 is answer is 64. So I'll take square root of both sides so that I'll get r alone. Square root of 64 will be 8. So my r meaning the radius of the cone is now 8 centimeters. So I'll continue. Question A has now been answered. So I'll move to question number B, in which I'm asked to find the nearest whole number, the volume of the cone. So volume of the cone is given by the formula 1 over 3 pi r square h. 1 over 3 
by r square h. This is the formula for finding volume of a cone. I have the radius 8, but I don't have the height of the cone. And the height of the cone is missing. Of course, I have uh, the r. I can now find the length, meaning the l is length height, because I have the relation between r and l. Uh, as I have r as 8, I can substitute here to get l. So after getting L, I have R already. I can use Pythagoras to get H before I continue substituting in this formula. So the L, which is 5 times 8, instead of 5 times R. So I have 5 times 8 divided by 2. And that will give final result 20. 5 times 8 is 40. 40 divided by 2 will be 20. So the slant height of the cone is now 20 centimeters. And let me get the h using Pythagoras. So h will now be equals to 20 square minus h square. 20 square is representing the square of the length of the hypotenuse minus the r square, which is the radius. So 20 square minus h square and take the square root. The final result is going to be 18.33 centimeters, which means the height of the cone is now 18.33 centimeters. So I can now go back to my formula for volume and substitute R and H so that I can get the volume now. So therefore, volume will now be equals to 1 over 3 times pi, which is 22 over 7, times R square, which is H square because R is 8, then times the height of the cone, which is 18.33. So I will now simplify this. I will have uh, 1,229 centimeter cube as the volume of this cone. So with this, I have answered this very question. So let's see the mark distribution for this according to the official work marking scheme. And the first mark is the bonus one mark for taking this ratio. For taking ratio r is to l, writing it in fractional form as 2 over 5, you have the bonus 1 mark. The next mark is the method mark, where you substituted in the total surface area your r or your l. If it is l, I made the subject. For this substitution, you have the method 1 mark. And the next mark is where you make r square subject, meaning trying to solve for r. You have the method mark 1. And the next mark is where you have R accurately as 8 centimeters. You have the A1 mark. Then the next mark is still A1 mark where you have the slant height as 20 centimeters accurately. You have the A1. And the next mark is the bonus 1 mark where, by you, where you obtain the vertical height of the cone as 18.33 centimeters. You have that bonus 1 mark. And for substituting everything correct in the formula for volume of that cone, substituting R and H in the formula accurately, you have the method 1 mark. And for the final answer as volume 1,229 cm cube, you have the accuracy 1 mark. So in total, this question number 4 has 8 marks.